Why do you think employers and CIOs are having problem finding qualified people? Part of it is our immigration policy. I think if, um, uh, if Einstein walked through our immigration doors, we'd probably turn him away. So our immigration policy has become very strict, and as a result, we cannot recruit right people in. So that's one. Second, I think our education has failed us um, on many levels. If you look at the IT sector, we teach our kids to be consumers of technology, not contributors. And unless you're a contributor, you cannot be uh, a good technologist. I mean, they, uh, so that has to change. If you, and again, if you look at education, and I'll give an example of my children's, my children's school uh, closed about a year ago. And I decided that we're going to open up a school. And we're going to teach the kids in a way they're supposed to learn, not the way that the education system says they have to learn. So we're opening up a school with a new way of teaching, which is not through extensive homework, which is not through kind of narrow focus on test, because we teach so people can pass tests. We don't teach to create intellectual citizens that are global and can think and can learn continuously, to your point. We teach them to pass a test. We've forgotten about learning. And those are the kids that we interview for jobs. And those are, that's not acceptable because the, this is not, I mean, the technology changes every three years. And you're right, there are three million jobs, but there are lots of IT people who, because they don't invest in them, themselves, they don't know how to learn, um, they have become obsolete. So they can't get a job because the technology they learned three years ago is no longer in use. And we also learn not through direct teaching, but we learn through experimentation. David Hume said we learn through cause and effect, right? Children learn, you see a ball, hits another ball, that moves. You're lo learning this whole uh, theory of relativity through the, the observation and through play. So the style of teaching, the focus of teaching, what is important in teaching, um, the fact that we do not really bring in other disciplines to our education, so our graduates could be holistic people who care about the world, who care about philosophy, who care about uh, science, who understand implications. Those skills are missing, and if you're missing those huge skills, and all you can do come code and not so well, then you can't compete.